Hey everybody, this is Koo Impact with Let's Play Toho Mother. And here we are in the Swamp of Death. Now, I hate the swamp because the water ticks your life down like poison does. And, of course, there is no clean way to get through this because there's a tree wall there. Man, the guy who created this game was a troll. It re he really was. And it's difficult like that. If it, if anyone gets a seizure from the red flashing lights, even though they're not very fast, but if you're sensitive to the light red color, oh my god, that's a Choaniki guy. Samson Brothers? Why are the Samson Brothers in a swamp? I'm not too sure myself, but uh, if anyone knows what Choaniki is, then I feel bad for you. Why are you, why are you playing Shoaniki games? You, you have to really stop this. It's gonna be bad for you. Why is he called Man? That's not a man. That's a Samson brother. We all know he's a dickhead. No, literally, his his head is really supposed to represent the head of a. Yeah, I'm not even go back there. It's pretty much what happens though. Japanese game. There's nothing better you can do. That's what they do. They make shit like this. They make shit like this. Ugh, what am I talking about? I hope I'm getting that present box out of... No, I'm not. I went the right way. Well, look at Marissa's health. That was only, like, how many steps through the poison? Not even a lot. And it drained Marissa's health to dead. So we're gonna want to stay out of that poison for as long as possible we can. Now luckily, the manheads can't get us unless we do that. Most of the time they're too slow to catch us even when we're slowed. You can evade them, but it takes a long time. What you have to be worried about is the other enemies here. Yes, I realize those are the violent cockroaches. They work just like the way they were in Mother 3. Right down to the, how they get, like, first attack, except unless I had Boney on my party, then, you know, it would work. But we don't have Boney in this game. This game doesn't have Boney. I don't know what you're talking about. And this is a warp trap area. Yeah, there are warp traps in this place. And they usually dump you off in rooms like this. I really dislike these enemies. I, I just, I'm not a fan of the cockroach enemies because they are annoying that they get first strike and they poison. Whenever they get the opportunity, they will poison you. Simple as that. Well, at least that went over well. And not the whole trap room thing, oh boy. Oh yeah, this is one of the trap rooms. Can't believe it. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Damn it, and Marissa's almost dead again. See, the main problem I have is Marissa in this area will keep being almost dead, and if I get into a counter when she has 1 HP, she is dead. There is no redeeming her. I will not be able to recover her from that fight. She will die, and that's why we have the, the uh, the revives multiple times item. Oh, but well, that's delicious. If you're gonna give me one of those, awesome. Yeah, that. The Ohm Cane. That is an odd Gygus reference. Best to give that to Marissa. She'll need it for the end game. She'll need it for now. Jeez, what am I talking about? With her dying all the time? It's an interesting combination, rumination, something like that. Oh boy. See, so you can evade him like this. But sometimes the connectors between the maps don't work when you're slowed. Uh, those are always the most uh, inconvenient times. Like, and sometimes they, the swamp doesn't slow you. It's weird. There's a lot of bugs in this game. In this area in particular, which I could have done without this area, this part of the game, this whole part of the game, I could have done without. That's just Ku's opinion. Like, it wasn't necessary at all to have any of this. 
it's just a blatant way to kill you over and over and take all your PP up, all for the one boss fight of... For a character I'm not even sure is from Toho. Oh, right, and a Metal Gear reference, because always need to make Metal Gear references. The whole hiding in the cardboard box thing, like, I know it became popularized with Metal Gear Solid, but it was in, like, every single game. Although each game it worked differently. I'm not sure, I don't remember because it's been a long time, but I don't recall you being able to shoot from your Metal, like, from Metal Gear Solid's box, but, like, Metal Gear 1 and 2, you can shoot out of the box. So you can just hide in the box and shoot all the guards dead. It's a bit of a cheesy way of doing it, but uh, you can do it because they let you. It's a gameplay mechanic, don't argue about it. Oh, there's no way through the trees. So what I just did here was waste a lot of HP. And I don't want to get caught by any more boxes. What I don't get is they're making such obscure references just like for this part in particular, and it's the part that is like completely unnecessary to the story. I'm gonna die if I don't talk to that guy. This by the way is the guy who created the game. He personified himself as a white Kirby with a uh, the Ness's father's hat thing. S-Chan, he's pretty... I don't know, I, I don't know what to call him. I don't know him personally enough, but uh, from what I can tell from his game, he's pretty crazy. He's played a lot of Toho, as well as apparently a lot of other Nintendo-ish games. Brawl franchise characters, if you realize it. Uh, I don't think he can give us money. Even though he says he can. And we're geared up to full. So I guess we have nothing better to do but move on from here. I could switch this out. It, it would might be better. It could help. Just a bit. I don't know why he has a door behind him. Yeah, she's talking about the uh, Sawako hat that's swimming in the ground. Which I think is a reference to Mother 1. It might not be a reference at all though. That's the whole thing. I he calls them children because they're all like technically lolicon. Technically. Yeah, he, he's a jerk. Look, see? The map does not warp us. Even though I know the warp is there. And now we have to fight this fight because of it. Well, at least the heal point is right here. The heal slash save point. This is the only heal point in the whole area to get PP back, so you have to be careful. Up ahead there's a few more save points, but if you save at them and have no way of getting back here alive, then you're shit out of luck, because Ku's done that before. No, I'm not even gonna tempt fate. Just... No. How did he catch me? I tried to juke some, but it didn't work. Can't juke him for shit, man. Stupid Choniki guy. He was like, he knew what he was doing. And he knew too well what he was doing. Makes me the saddest person on the planet. Well, whatever the case may be, at the waste of a few more PP, and that is not friendly present box. See, look, I perfectly dodged him, and then there were more. This whole room is just poison and enemies. Look at Marissa's HP. Look at what we have to deal with. It's, it's a complication, and it, the matter of the fact is, it's all going to end if we don't get hit, thank god. It's a good reason to heal up right now during the battle. Because it prevents death now. <laughs> Boop -a -choo, boop -a -choo. Yeah, I know. The sound effects for this game were ludicrous. It's like the creator was on crack or something. He probably was. What am I talking about? He calls himself S, a letter. 
I mean, I understand, having an alias online will help you protect yourself from all kinds of stuff, but you would choose a single letter, and then also fixate Chan on the end of it, even though you're a guy, I don't know. That box over there is a trap, though. It's a freaking solid snake, and I know it. And I'm out of time, so this has been Koo Impact with Let's Play Toho Mother. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we touch the trap box.